Hi, new path ED viewers. Hi, today's topic we are going to see is how to create ASP controlled table. You also saw, saw normally the table which is created in HTML. Now I am showing you how to create table in ASP controlled. There is a predefined under this prefix tax ASPX. There is an option called table. You just add this tag over here and given this ID, whatever you want, and give the runner server. Runner server is used to run this application or something, whatever that field which is mentioned in the client, client to server side or simply we can tell whatever the value whatever the changes made in this client side it will affect the server side it means uh, for example uh, we are adding some text boxes if you pause the value from client side to server side we can use the runner server to control this value through server side For server side control at all, it will take some brief description to tell what all the workflow is there. I will tell you how to create these things in later videos. Let me see how to create this table in ASPS control. It's normally the same uh, if you add this uh, TR row TD that is a HTML format. If you add like this, it won't work. So we need to add something that uh, it will control with that ASPX tag prefix. So you just to given this header as something called ASPX header. It's like header row table for footer like this. What are the field? It it will be asked for a table row. So first we see about header. This is a table header. We are at these things. And for this table row, there is one tag prefix is called the tag table rows. And for the data, we add as a table cells. Actually, inside the table cells, we add out what are the fields you want. You can add into the table cells. Actually, this is a, what it's like act as a TD. We mention whatever the data into this only. Actually, here it shows something as symbol. If it's null, it will show something 